Hey, Spitwads, this summer, get the most out of your travels abroad. You know, people going out there, they're doing things now, and uh, you can learn the language of your destination. People be talking. People be, you, well, you have to talk when you go places, and sometimes, Mike, they don't speak the same language you do. That's true. And uh, look, down here in Arizona, a lot of people go over the border, they go to the beach. Yeah. And uh, like my Babel account, I've signed up, and I've got the Spanish language that I'm trying to you know, you know I was going to say up. sharpen up, but really learn, learn. <laughs> entirely. And that's so that's the one I chose for my Babbel account. If you've got an upcoming trip planned overseas and you need a little bit of help, they have 15-minute lessons. It makes it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go. In fact, you know, uh, other language learning apps, they use AI for their lesson plans. Babbel lessons were created by actual language experts. They're not trying to make this all uniform. They're trying to get you to be able to talk. So right now, when you purchase a three-month Babbel subscription, you get an additional three months for free. That's six months for the price of three. Just go to Babbel.com and use the promo code BALLERS. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com, code BALLERS, for an extra three months free. Babbel, language for life. What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. Babadoo, 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 a biggity blam! <laughs> I think I liked it. I think I, I think that let was it, okay to let me. Let it sink in. I mean, I don't understand the babadoo. <laughs> Thrice. Yeah, I mean, you stuck with it. You're like, Bob, this is today is Bob, National Babadoo Day. And What's wrong with a little Babadoo? I liked it. <laughs> I, I was a fan. Yeah, it definitely finished strong. You didn't throw any any uh, extra syllables in okay. there. I've I've been accused of being a uh, yeah. You went with a, a squeedist, <laughs> a squeeger. <laughs> um, spitballers, welcome in. Would you rather highway to spell in a draft on today's show? Drafting most. The most Wait, what was that? what was that? That was you talking about highway to spell, and I I would I am one third of this group, and I nominate that we you get don't rid call of that. it highway to spell. Uh, I'd say we get rid of that uh, segment entirely because I, I think hate it. I think it's great, but uh, Owl, I make a motion: all future highway to spell episodes must also coincide with Jason scatting. Can we just get oh. everything that Jason hates? I then into I, one will, episode? I will skip every third episode. We'll get a Jason explains in there too. Oh great. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> what have I done? Now how did it work out on the last highway to spell? I went out right away. <laughs> <laughs> uh as I participated while you two were spelling much better words, I realized I would have gone out the second round and the third round. I I mean I had here's the thing, we've done this a couple times and I was okay. Like the first time we did this, I was fine. I was in You'll the running. You'll be better to win. today. You want to know why? Why? He's starting with some easier words. Oh, hallelujah! I don't know, man. Oh, don't give me hallelujah, please. <laughs> I have no idea how to spell that. We appreciate you supporting the show at Spitballers Pod on Twitter. Spitballerspod.com is the website. Figure out how you can be an official Spitwad member. Thank you for telling your friends, reviewing the show, all of the things that make podcasts grow. Look, if you are in an office, I command you, pause the episode. You're commanding people? I now? command. Oh, man. I com yeah, you like this is not an option. Yeah, if you've been commanded. If you're in an office, pause the show, peek over your cubicle, and say, hey, guys, hey, check out this podcast I'm listening to. You have to do it now. Yes. I'm having a real dad moment here. Uh-oh. Do you want to peer into my life? Of course. My, uh, my daughter is six, uh -huh. and she's texting me. Oh, that's okay. Well, that's on you. Um, <laughs> problem one. Problem one. And uh, bad parenting. Look, it says, Dad, um, Caleb said he will cut off my finger. Oh, okay. And that is Big Brother. That's Big Brother. Okay. And then I said, What? And she replied, And he's telling the truth. Oh, with what, though? That's Do you want great, me to ask? Yes. yes, please follow up. Look, weapon I've, of. I, I got it. Uh, his intent and weapon of choice. Because if he's just like. <laughs> I got a I got a cheese slicer, right? You I'm know, not you have too nothing to worry about. about that. If it's like butcher knife, you got a right. you got a problem. Well, Use I'll keep you door. posted. <laughs> we'll we'll keep you posted on whether or not um, 
my son cuts off my daughter's finger. Okay. I hope I hope he doesn't. Yeah, me yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Caleb said he will cut my finger off with scissors. Uh, that's oh, a problem. Okay. I feel like you, uh, you are that, these chi- are these Tell him child not scissors? to. Tell, now that's good parent your first good parenting. <laughs> tell him not to. <laughs> that's what my uh Yeah. I would recommend maybe text Caleb. <laughs> that's a good idea. Yeah. Well, but hold on. I mean, uh how sh- are you Don't cut her finger off, please. All right. We it, take care of it. The boy's the boy's hand. Is you, it strong enough? Is it strong enough? No. I don't think so. I mean, well, <laughs> We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. Because, like, I, I feel like my hand is... I could get a child's finger off. Oh, gross. Oh, mercy. Well, I would... Like, but you're probably right. Yeah, thank you, Jason. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but, uh, like, Not a, with a pair of scissors. Yeah, with a, I could get a child's finger with a pair of scissors. But, oh, but, uh, but a full-grown making... hand, oh, man. I, don't, I don't know if I could. No, they would have to be called shears at that point. Yeah, but that's like, not a scissor. Well, I mean, or those hedge clippers. Well, oh, well certainly, I, I, mean, I, I can get, get a wrist. A, yeah, I can get an arm, hand. no problem. Those things, <laughs> those things are amazing. Whoever invented those like hedge shears, <laughs> those are crazy. Not the ones with the long blades. The ones with like the three inch blade with the long handles. Oh yeah. If it can fit it's, in there, because it's, it's, it's physics, leverage. It's leverage. I mean, it's gone. Well, we'll keep you posted. Uh, I may have to leave. <laughs> yeah, well, certainly. Um, anyways, so I uh, hope you and your uh, office cubicle mate are enjoying the show. Yeah, and your your four your daughter with four fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, let's do some. Would you rather? Would you rather? It's a, it parenting's a full time job, man. Um. <laughs> yeah, you got to stay on top of it. And and we also, I mean, this is a show we try to help people out. We're all dads. Um, parenting via text is really the way to go. It, 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 you find it easier? Well, I mean, it's the way I, I all my conversations with my children. It, dad, even in-house? Can, dad, can I talk to you? In-house, it's uh, just and all then text. you pull out your phone and say, sure, bud. <laughs> just, and then you walk away. Just point. Mm, 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 mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I do mine through my Alexas. Oh, do you? Yeah. That, that announcement's through the house, so there's like yes. a public shame, too? Yes. <laughs> uh, make an announcement. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't cut off your sister's That's finger. That's right. I guess I could do that from here. Good night. Mm-hmm. Riggles McTiggles from Patreon <laughs> has a <laughs> would you rather question for us. Well, thank you for that's, your support, Riggles. That's a funny name. Would you rather have to speak like the Count from Sesame Street? Uh, uh, uh. uh anytime you say a number out loud. Or act like Dora the Explorer every time oh, man. you are in a drive through line. I don't know how often I say numbers out loud. Probably more than I think. Yeah, far more. Look, well, but I know how often I'm in a drive through line. Say far more than the drive through but I, I, I rescind. And then I have to scream it. I mean, do, there is no worse show on the planet than Dora the Explorer. Concept, fine. Execution, horrific. Everybody's screaming everything. I'd like a Big Mac number one with an extra large Diet Coke, please. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> that inflection was so good because it is. It's max volume and it is just, you're talking semitones of modulation. There is, there's no expre- real expression where you go, real high to real low. No, it's, no, it's just, just, just a slight Nasty, variance. awful you know, scratching nails on a chalkboard. If you did that Swiper. at a drive-thru. <laughs> no, no swipey. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's did you ma- not do it? Oh, I know. I did do it. Okay. I'm, I'm a map. I'm a map. I'm a map. I'm a map. It's the worst. And anybody out there who hasn't seen Dora, just. <laughs> Is Dora still here? Yeah. yeah, of course. It's, they came out with a, a motion picture like two years ago about Dora. Yeah, but but the motion. <laughs> a motion picture. Did, uh, as we call it. And you, you got me at the cinema. <laughs> Look, there was a talkie that came out featuring Dora. Did you see it? I did see it. It was pretty good. It was It was, it good. was okay. It was right. live action? Yeah, it was live action, and it was very tongue-in-cheek. Yes. Of, like, it was highlighting the clear and obvious problems with the cartoon of the the shouting and like so in the live action, Dora will just start monologuing, but then everyone else it's like, what what are you who are you talking to That's what are funny. you doing? If you had that voice in a drive through, you would see the the employee leap through the drive through window and run away. Oh. Do you know how many burgers I would get just with a loogie in it? Yes, yeah, so everything you eat is is 
covered in spit now. Yeah, they are they are doing whatever they can do to ruin your food because you ruined their ears and their day. I can't think about the number one in a way that it would negatively impact me too much. It's just real silly. And sometimes you got big numbers. So let me think. Uh, you're at the store and you, you ask somebody, hey, um, is that thing over there? How do you say it? 599. There you go. <laughs> I feel like your entire sentence, if you know that a number is going to come the out. The whole sentence? The whole sentence. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> is this 1299? Get now, out of my store. Now, there are more drive throughs than simply food. Like, you're, imagine you're going through a drive through teller at the bank. Oh, man. And the- <laughs> that was- I have a check to deposit. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, it, it's literally, this is... This is like I can I can have fun with the count, right? We're we're in we're in the the, the office here, and we're talking about our our quarterly reports, and we're talking uh-huh. about you know, and we laugh at the count and how silly I sound. But there is no redeemable quality to me screaming at your face in uncomfortable tones. But imagine, for a moment, I know we are not these people, but imagine you're like an agent, you're a sports agent. And now you're negotiating for your client. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I've got a deal for you. Your can, two million is no good. Can uh, Dora uh, have uh. a serious conversation about something? No. Oh like what? It, I mean, Dora grows up, right? Her and Dora dating? has a has a kid, and then she has to give like serious advice to the kid. What's her, what's her kid's name? Dora? Give, yeah, give me a know. kid's name for Dora. Well, she doesn't have one. What would it be? Well, Diego was the cousin, if you want to talk to the cousin. Diego! <laughs> come talk to me. I have something important to say. <laughs> I mean, just kill me. No, it's, I'm taking the count for You've sure. You've got to say no to drugs. <laughs> Don't do drugs, Diego! <laughs> Man, nobody can... So, like, right now, uh-huh. no, n- I hope everybody... Uh, paused and told someone about the podcast because they're all gone now yeah. because we have just screamed in their yeah. ears like Dora. Well, actually, everyone else in the office has heard the podcast <laughs> That's through their I'm headphones. going with the count one. Final yeah, answer. Yeah, uh, lock yeah it it's, it'll, it'll get old, but every once in a while it'll be funny. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Red Daddy from Patreon, would you rather never be able to ask or receive help from Al Borland for anything handy? Oh, no. Ooh. Or... Ha- <laughs> Have to fight the sons in four guy. This, <laughs> I think this is worth it. Too timely. It's very timely. So we we probably need to look. We don't know when you're listening to the episode, but the sons in four guy. There was a a playoff basketball game between the Phoenix Suns and the Denver Nuggets, as occasionally happened. Clearly, some people in the stands had too many. I had a few too many dreams. Had a few too many libations, and they end up getting in fisticuffs over a sporting event that they are not even participating in, which is nonsense, right? But it happens all the time. But it does happen. Brawl in the stands. And so this video went viral, and he became the Suns and Four guy uh, because he he won the fight. He beat the tar out of that guy. He won the fight, and then he declared that his team was going to win in four games. And then they won in four games, and that's what really catapulted him to fame. But basically, this guy controlled two other he, men he looked like he had experience in the fighting game right he looked like if you or me or andy were to get in a fight with him we would have false hope we would be like i think i could take the take him and then he would grab me by the shirt and keep punching my now, face. that's why if you have to fight him you got to go shirtless oh i always fight shirtless mike Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. I mean, I would never. I mean, if unless it's a gi, I'm shirtless. I mean, that's how I fight. Whenever I get into my fights, I always and usually it's the ripoff. I don't do the takeoff. Oh, I do you, the whole, oh, the you, whole Hulk Hogan, Hogan style. Yes, and you do that a lot from time to time. I mean, you know, it's it's been a couple of days since my last fight. At least, <laughs> at least a couple of days since my percentage last percentage of fights that are shut down by the the vigorous shirt ripping. Oh, like, like, they, like they, your, once they see it. Yeah, your display they, of just oh, your, your levels of So far, it's zero, but <laughs> I think I think soon I'm going to really now is, is, pressure them to quit. Do you think there is a problem exposing the man boobs? Yeah, that's why it doesn't, like, they're like, oh my gosh, look how strong <laughs> Can he is. Can I answer for him? And then they go, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This guy's got, 
This guy's got some rolls over there. I think I could take it. They don't realize what kind of insulated padding that gives me though like body shots don't work like uh uh who was butterbean do you guys remember yeah, the boxer oh yeah. butterbean oh, yeah that was like the most out of shape guy you've ever seen in your life yeah my hero what and made, he was dominated i know this this is going to be dated at some point but what made the sons and four guys so hilarious was first of all the other person attacked mm -hmm. first tried to sucker punch him then he wins the fight then he goes back to essentially casual fandom <laughs> by saying sons and four this would be like if you're in a starbucks line and you're fighting with the person behind you, and then you turn around and say, yes, and I will have a venti mocha frappuccino. <laughs> like nothing else has happened. While you're still holding them. While you're yes. holding them and throwing one last little punch in there with whipped cream. Oh, man. Um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll go with uh, the never asking help for Borland. I'm, I'm, I'm taking them on. I'm fighting the sons of four guy. I, I don't think you have a choice with how, like, how much you depend on him for your manhood. Well, yeah, yeah. So compare your – which you're – you're fighting all the time, as right. we've documented. Right. But how with your fights all the time compared to how often Owl Borland is at your place fixing something? Oh, way more. Way, way more. I mean, I, I fight probably one to five times uh, that he's fixing something. And uh, sometimes it's his fixing something that causes a fight. If he doesn't oh, do a good job, okay. then me and Owl got to got to throw down and I do take it. that shirt off and we, and he knows what it means he knows it's we're get, we're getting does, into a fight does owl do the same shirt does he removing take off his shirt owl will uh, owl never takes off his shirt <laughs> he tried to rip it once couldn't do it quit forever and a lot of your fights are generally those are like road rage incidents right where you just get out of your car and just just rip, rip your that shirt, shirt off. off and that's right that's 100% right okay uh, Ryan from the website at a party, would you rather be the person who opens the food container and packaging and takes the first portion or the guy who oh. takes the last portion of food? This is a real thing. What's funny is I've noticed this. We've hosted, you know, people over a lot. And if you don't open the package for people, some will not do the opening. Mm -hmm. They feel like they are violating some code in your home where I've put out a bunch of fresh bags of chips as though I'm trying to do something nice, mm -hmm. but they will either only access the already open one or just wait for I, somebody else to open it. I'm that way. I would, I you would won't, not you open. won't open? I would not see the bag the, and the think... The shameless Jason Moore w <sighs> it will not open the food? I... I, look, there are standards, um, and when you have <laughs> that's not opened, your one? that's well, that's one of at least six. When you place a food item out, I believe it's for show at first, and then when you open it, you say, "Now we can eat." It's kind of like the lid on an entree. You know, if you if you come, you know, you get room service until they take that lid off. You're not; it's not time to eat. Which, of course, because there's a lid on the food and you cannot reach it. I am far more dog like. When it comes to party food, you sniff. No, oh. as as in, as soon as I recognize that the host is bringing out food, I'm just I'm following him. I'm like, D -d 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 -d. I'm I'm my my social bubble goes away because it's time to eat, I, and then they will put it down, and I will open this thing immediately because I, the food's out, man. I find myself the older I get, the more. My life revolves around being the first person to yes. eat something. Yeah, you want to be, you want to take the scraps, or I'm do you want so to get the best? I'm so impatient about food. You threw a costume party. All I was thinking about was food the whole time <laughs> until the food came out. Yeah, and I, I will say this to to get back to the question of whether you want to be the first or the last. I do not usually open the packaging at someone else's party. If I'm not the host, I wait for the packaging to be open. But if I have to choose between being first or being last. You got to be first because when you're la either way, when you're last and there's a little bit left, I can't take it all. I have to leave some. I don't want to be the guy that like completely like, oh, I, w I wanted some, but you can't have it now because I ate the rest of it. If I eat the beginning of it, whatever, this that's what it's meant for. I'll fit. I'll, I'll eat the last if no one sees me. Oh, OK. If you you and that's a strategy thing. You just keep everybody's. Oh, what's that over there? And then. Get the last good three plan. yogurt pretzels are mine, and we're done. Do you come with, like, you go and you grab the small plates, easier to hide, and then you you walk quickly by, you scoop it onto the plate, you walk straight to the bathroom, you close the door, you eat it in the bathroom and hide your shame? Is that what we're talking about? We're, we're, that's a whole other question that I would like to know the answer to. How much is too much snacking at these parties? Because I Ooh. sometimes I... Do, do I have to conserve for other guests? What is the statute of limitations for my second, third, fourth, fifth helping? When I, 
And if the plates are too small, I mean, you're are you telling me something with your small plates? Like you only should they, have a little bit. They could be, but I mean, number one, back to the question of normalize opening the food. I let get that old tradition or whatever the guilt or shame you feel. The food is out there for you to eat. Okay. I, Mike from the the Spitballers podcast, I am removing all of that shame from Thank your you. life. Thank you. Get in there. Okay. Also, I will obey when there is if. If the the remainder on the uh, buffet or whatever the, the the serving plate, if that can fit onto your plate, it's good to go. So if I you can, may take the rest of so it. So if I can get a serving plate, then I am good to take no. the entirety because <laughs> no, according to your plate, rule, the plate you have been provided as the official eating plate. Oh, of it's the okay. Party. I brought my own. <laughs> What if you went like you've got the uh, that's a cookie that's a cookie sheet no that's that's this is my plate what uh, could you theoretically I mean that'd be funny to go to somebody's house they have the little serving plates and you go take one of their porcelain plates right out Just, of the yeah. cabinet <laughs> but you but you ask it? but you grab it out and then once you're holding it you say can I use this because they're they're they back to the no? corner they're not gonna say no they're gonna say oh uh, sure they already have to wash it right, that's right. You take it out, you lick it, you say, can I use this? Um, yeah, to go right ahead. <laughs> Update from uh, from home. Uh, he said he's not going to cut her finger off. Can you believe him? Uh, he said that she's being a brat. That's why he threatened. Oh. Well, I mean, I, if, I would say that's, that's completely warranted. That is there. very punitive. If, 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 if someone's being a brat, I usually threaten amputation of appendages well, as she, a normal you know, response. And she said uh, he, he was laughing throughout the threat. Oh, so I don't know if that's maniacal. maniacal. Oh. You got a Joker situation <laughs> happening. <laughs> It was like the count, though. How yeah. many fingers will I take? A one, <laughs> a, two. a two, and then, and then all of a sudden you became an owl from a Tootsie Roll commercial. Uh, Mark from the website, would you rather have a 25% chance of stubbing your toe when you walk into a room or a 50% chance of forgetting what you went into the room to do once you pass the doorway? That's already Th what it I is. Say that this is so easy because already there, bro. You have you have those moments. Oh, I'm greater than fifty percent at this point in my life. When I walk into a room, and if if I get any slight distraction, like if my phone buzzes, if I hear a, a noise, it's gone. It, th there was a fleeting moment, and I have no idea why I'm there. Have you so, ever done that with a store? Have you actually gotten to a store? Okay, a and store, then, and then not remembered most of why you went. I mean, I I guess if you're going grocery store and you get i give the wife she's like do you want to write it down like, oh no no i got this oh no and this list of 10 things is there's, three there's three by the time i get oh, home no. but it's too late it's... i'm already committed i can't write it yeah. down you I told her you don't want to I write it down this I is on you check now in. i can't check it it's it's now it's pride it, it's pride and now it's when i get home I'm tr I'm, I got to remember what it was because they are definitely out of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's a pro move right there. And the there. moment you're in the store after you filled your cart with three items <laughs> and the whole store is before you and you're standing there going, now like what the, did I it's need? It's like the scenes in the movies where it zooms in and zooms out at the exact same yes, time. Yes, like, yes, yes. Uh, well, there's a lot of options here. Guess I'm out of here. Do you just walk the store trying to remember? <laughs> I've done that. Yeah. <laughs> I've done that. There's no Every shame. Every aisle looking around. Was that the thing I needed? Yeah. I mean, the truth The truth about this question is that the doorway effect is a, is a real it's thing. It's like a portal. It's a, it's a, well, I mean, it's a scientifically studied phenomenon, the, the doorway effect, where when you change rooms, sometimes it, it resets your, your thought process. This is real. Like, you go, Google is it. This, is this real or is this Dr. Donuts talking right now? Oh, man. I would always listen to Dr. Donuts, but um, no, it's a real effect. I mean, he that's forgets what... things every time he enters a bakery. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I forget everything else other than why I'm there. That's the one place where I remember exactly why I walked through this doorway. I need two and scones. I'm... I need three glazed donuts. I need five jelly filled. That's just... right. I mean, I'm I'm a machine. <laughs> I am a machine when I get in that bakery. You just watch me work and stand in awe. I mean, get your cameras out and watch what I can do in a bakery, my friends. Uh, when's the last time you stubbed your toe? It's actually been a while. A I, I don't think I've stubbed. Ago. Later for real? today. Yeah. 
couple couple days ago, I had one uh, coming out of the bathroom in the corner. It got me good. No, none of you have ever have you ever broken one? Yes. No. Oh, really? Yeah. The only I have broken, uh, at least so I, the two maybe I've maybe have three breaks in my. So this entire is a life. big thing for you. This is a no, frequent- not toes. No, I was thinking oh. like bones ever. And I thought I've I feel like I've told this story on this podcast. But anyways, for those of who have, have not heard it, uh, I've known Al Borland for a little too long, a, a a lot too long. Okay, let's be honest about that. But. During that lot too long period, uh, there was a time we were we were young men. We were in high school, and Al Borland and his crew they went to a different school, and somehow they got his how, entourage. Hey, you guys were doing a, a video for the announcements. Yeah, for the morning announcements. Yep. So I don't know. Uh, this is this was all new to me. But I had a uh, I had a decent sized backyard. By that I mean my parents had a decent sized backyard, and they wanted to do it there. So we were doing just stupid kid stuff. We were on a trampoline. And then the, everyone was going to jump off, and then they were going to do their announcements. I misjudged <gasps> jump like not a, like a full jump off. We're talking, you're just casually getting off. But I went toe straight into the metal bar, mm. and it was like a foot pain I had never experienced. But I'm on camera, Ooh, so I'm, you got So I am a professional. Don't you be a weenie. So I I finished the shot. I think I end up on a ladder. Or or some just wild stuff, um, and you just and pretending then, like you're fine. Yeah, and then afterwards, I'm looking at my toe. I'm like, that that one's not okay. <laughs> but so yes, I have in fact stubbed my toe so hard that I broke it. Wow, my it's very unpleasant. My father broke his toe. I was with him, and it was this. It was so <laughs> ridiculous. We're in the ocean. We're we're in we're the water. In the water. <laughs> we're in the water. The waves are coming, and I'm telling you, man. If he got one or two inches off the ground, I don't remember it. All of a sudden, he's like, ow! <laughs> what happened? Did something bite you? No, he broke his toe. Wait, hold on. I don't know what he, like, raised up. The, all, like, got the water? A, <laughs> it couldn't have been it's, water. It's the toshin. <laughs> but it's very I, nice. It was basically like as the waves were coming in, you know, you jumped the waves a little bit. I think he I think he oh, okay. barely jumped up and it came down on his toe. Oh, I was trying to give him That's the credit. That's impressive. I was going to give him the credit. Like, there's rocks and coral. There's all sorts of stuff that you can't see in the ocean. So you're saying it was just... A a playful timing yes. of we're gonna jump the wave as everyone I think, does. I think he broke was it his toe one? on sand and water. Which toe? Uh, I think it was the long one. The the, the which the on pointer? the moors yeah, is that's the what, second toe. Is your toe longer than yes, your? Yes. Oh yeah, mine yeah. too. Oh, I got perfect feet. Perf- oh wait, yours perfect are all, angle. Yeah. Really? I do too. My second toe is longer. No, uh, correct. Perfection. Yeah, correct. Mike's not friends with anybody with a longer second toe. That's that is true. I mean, yeah, but I can grab stuff with these feet, man. Oh, I, I can throw a baseball, man. I can open a banana. <laughs> Had I never, unfortunately, unfortunately, broken my toe, could have been a foot model. Really? My, my feet are incredible. But now it's just just wrecked. Yeah, uh, I mean, like, it, don't it, look at this. It's not wrecked, but it definitely. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen Turns someone, the wrong someone's way. eyes that are not looking the same direction? Don't know where to look. You have a lazy toe? <laughs> yeah. I He's got okay. a lazy toe. All right. It doesn't bend the best. No, no. But you, did you get it repaired? No. No, you just moved on. Yeah. Yeah. That, like, a I ma- waited. like a man. I waited for weeks while this thing was in agony. <laughs> it, it hurts so bad. All right, Jason. I'm sorry to tell you we're moving on. Spitwads, you guys know that I'm a chef and that I'm a great cook. That's true. And honestly and truthfully, HelloFresh is at least half the reason, if not like 100% of the reason that I am a great chef because HelloFresh gets me fresh, pre-measured ingredients with mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to my door. I don't have to go to the grocery store. I don't have to figure out what we're going to eat. I don't have to do the meal prep, the meal plan. All I do is make delicious food. Make it easily and make it look good. I mean, look, if you're like, what do I put on my Instagram account? Uh, I don't know. How about you make a HelloFresh look like you're a genius? Post that to your Instagram and everyone will be happy. So many likes. They offer everything for all diet plans, all family types. You are going to love the ease and use of HelloFresh. And right now, you can go to HelloFresh.com slash Spitballers14 and use the code Spitballers14 for up to 14 free meals, including free shipping. Once again, up to 14 free meals and free shipping. Go to HelloFresh.com slash spitballers14 and use our code spitballers14 hello fresh america's number one meal kit (laughs) 
highway to spell. All right. I am on a winning streak. I've won two of these. I'm, I'm surprised that uh, you even make me participate. It should be a battle for second. <sighs> to be fair, we don't have a choice. <laughs> that is that. Uh, to be fair, you're right. Uh, I would. I, I'll bow out. I will do that for you, Andy. <laughs> um, You'll be the judge. I'll be the judge. Uh, I will Google these words and let you know. Now, the message in our show doc says, you failed me last time, so you are demoted to fifth grade. That is what Al has sent us. Yeah. Were Accurate. you a little disappointed in not me? Uh, in not you, correct. Okay. Yep. Got it. Makes I've, sense. Also yep. in not Mike. Now, do we start with <laughs> Mike? We should start with Mike, right? Because he's the Wait, scatter I today. I feel like this is getting personal. Well, but it wasn't Andy and it wasn't me. We'll never know who the could have, owl. It could have been any of us. Could have, it could have been any of us. That's the worst part of this. <laughs> All right, let's begin. I think Mike should start, though. Okay. Because uh, right. he was the scatter right. today. Me, 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 me. All right. So your fifth grade level word is? Beginning. B. <laughs> I hope I'm right. <laughs> this looks so wrong what I wrote down. I think Mike is a little worried. <laughs> it looks wrong, Jason. Uh, it doesn't look right. No, it, there's, there's no way what I wrote down is right. He's Hold writing on. again. Okay, no, no, it has to. Be. Okay. okay, it has to be it, right. All right, beginning. B e g i n n i n g. Oh man, yeah, that's what I wrote down. It looks so it, wrong when you write it, it down. It looked wrong, but then I went to one end. And that looked like begun. Oh, that, that was a smart strategy. Write the other one, and if it looks and that worse. one looked worse. Okay, let me tell you something right now. You are fogging up. My palms are sweating. <laughs> we play foosball, and some sometimes vomit on your sweater. Mom's spaghetti. I mean, it is my. I am legitimately nervous. Nervous here. Spell nervous. No. Oh, please no. Don't give me a word. Wait, <laughs> three letters. Don't Go. give me any word. <laughs> give me word. All right, give him. Give All him right, his Jason. Word. Your fifth grade level word is. Disappoint. Uh, yes, I will. Uh, oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, this yeah. is not fifth grade. Oh, yeah. This. Uh, oh, oh, no. This is hard. Oh, no. This seems I feel like I've messed this one up before, but I think Where? I got it. Oh, no. Uh, talk, because i got to write several different versions of this. Oh, if you, no. If you fail here, you will disappoint Al. Oh, no. Holy moly, man. Oh, there's too many options there's, here. <laughs> is it one S or two S? Is it one P or two P? Oh, my goodness. This is a nightmare. I don't know where the double is. Oh, my gosh. Is it both? Ah, Are there two? way to spell. Oh, I, I hate this. I feel really inept right okay. now. Okay. I'm so confident I'm about confident the first in. three letters. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I'm going to go with what I wrote first. Oh, That's smart. No. Shoot. Okay. D I S. <laughs> Nailed it. Now, <laughs> I'm going to go with A. Keep going. P, D I S A P. <laughs> P O I N T. Oh, I did it! I did it! I am the smartest yeah. man alive. Yeah, I. Holy, I am sweating like cr this is this. <clears throat> now I know what it's like to do hard work <laughs> and come out on the other side. Great job. Thank you. This is fifth grade, right? <laughs> yeah. That, that's not that. I'm with I'm Jason. That was not a fair word. Thank you. Well, look. Um, I got it what's right. Mine? But that was not fair. All right, your fifth grade level word is opposite. Oh, okay. That's easy. Opposite. O P P O S I T E. Uh, that's what I wrote down. That's <laughs> okay. You why, I was why little, you always give him the easy I was ones? a little worried that I went too fast. <laughs> and that, then you yeah. end up failing. That, that can I mean, happen. That, Overconfident. Yeah. Mm. All right. All right. What are we going up to? Sixth grade? We're moving so far, up to sixth grade. For the record, I did spell all three correctly. But go on. For your own record? For, for my record. For my morale. Yes. I would pass the fifth grade spelling test. All right, Mike, your sixth grade level word is? Concentration. Concentration. Okay, concentration. <clears throat> C-O-N-C-E-N-T-R-A-T-I-O-N. -E concentration. That's how I have it. Okay. I felt good about that yeah, one. Yeah, that, that one was pretty easy. I, I mean, concentrated. The only... The only 
question there was the C or the S, and it was pretty pretty easily a C there. Yeah. There, right. it's, what are you it's, giving it's, advice now, Hotshot? Yeah, I mean, look, I'm going to try to the, uh, bring our youth up to my speed. The, the true hiccup is these dumb double letters. Yeah, don't give me any double. We should reinvent the language. Uh, Jason, you are up. All right, Jason, your sixth grade level word is? Vacuum. Oh, shoot. I get this one wrong all the time. Do you? Yes. Oh, man. Talk. The devil's in the details, Jason. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. Shoot. I think you could give him the word box right now, and he would be he would be like, wait, is that CKS? Oh, my gosh. There's no chance I get this right. I mean, there's You're none. You're fine. Yeah, you You're fine. It. You got it. We believe in you. Oh, I don't. Just think about how to spell vacuum and you're good. I am looking at three different words uh, and three? Not, none of them on my board are the correct spelling of vacuum of that, I'm sure. If if you get this wrong, I will want to know your alternate spellings. Only a vacuum sucks as much as you do. <laughs> Thank you for the Whoa! usage. Uh, I, this one's not a... Language uh, of origin? This is a quick one. Oh, my God. You got a quick one? He, he has... Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean... Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I same same as you, Andy. But for the <laughs> listeners at home, Jason, I think he's up to six. I think he's six up to versions six of the word spellings. vacuum. Five, five. Okay, but I, I think some of them are the same. <laughs> you think know, man. some of them are the same? Oh, I'm just writing. You're the not word sure, and I'm sweating like crazy. Okay, oh, now we're is, up to is six. Is there an expiration? Um, yeah, I can't lose if I never go. That's what I know. Uh, all right, V, nailed it. A, mm -hmm. C. Ooh. All right, I could go a couple different ways here. Um, yes. yes, here is where the fork in the road does appear. Okay, is it a C or a U? V A C vacuum. Glasses are fogging. Okay, can you see now? You've removed the glasses. I cannot see my board, so I'm, the glasses are going back on. Do I go with what I spelled first, or do I go with what looks better? I'm gonna go with. Oh, there's no way this is right. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, this this is just okay. All right, for the sake of the show, I've got to go on V A C. This is terrible. V A C. Oh, V A. Oh, vacuum. This is V A C U. Oh no! Wait. Okay. Here's Jason. Yeah. Well, let him go. The last thing I'll say is. <laughs> the, the amount of time you've already spent hemming and hawing over the spell like, has already... I've already lost. You've, you, the shame is already there, so just now just throw it out. <laughs> okay, V-A... Rip the Band-Aid. <laughs> this is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, V-A-C-U-U-M. <laughs> oh, yes! 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 I did it! Okay, alternate spellings. V this was my first one, V A C U M E. That was your first go? <laughs> Shut Vacu up, Mike. Vacuum? <laughs> vacuum. <laughs> hey, buddy. Vacuum. Uh, then I had V A C C U M. <laughs> Vac vacuum? Vac I don't know, man. <laughs> then I had V A C C U stop. I stopped writing that one. Oh. And then V A C U U M. Oh, so I wrote the correct one twice. I'm a genius. Don't right. doubt yourself, Jason. Well You're doing done. great. You're doing oh. great. You are alive. Well, you should doubt yourself a little bit because your first spelling was yeah. wrong. No. I just doubt myself a the little correct bit. amount. Yeah. All right. Impressive. Andy, yeah. your sixth grade level word is? Denominator. Denominator. Now, take your time. This is really tough. So. Uh, D-E-N-O-M-I-N-A-T-O-R. Okay, that's you had it. <laughs> now, Jason, did you write it down as no. they were calling it no, out? No, no, I got it before. This, I had this it game him. to me, it's your first instincts. No, my first no. instinct was wrong. Mine was V A C U M E. It's not your Vacuum. instincts. It's you got to use my first instinct okay, on the thank word. Thank you. I will use your first instinct. Are we up to seventh grade? We are, and right. we're all still alive. We are. Let's At go. this point, it's Brilliant. all gravy, gentlemen. Absolutely, we're, we're basically geniuses. <laughs> yeah. I'll remind you, this is where Jason got out last time. Ah, this is where we started last time. All right. M yes, correct. Mike, your seventh grade level word is? Pronunciation. Oh, gosh. Pronunciation. All right. This one's getting a little. All right. I got mine. I got mine. I, for the record, I wrote it down first. 
I'm the, going with I my have first two instinct. spellings on this yeah, one. Yeah, we got to s- Give me the word again, please. <laughs> Pronunciation. Does it change? Yeah, the middle is a Does could be a problem. Does it change from when you go from pon- pronounce to pronunciation? That's the I know what I did. <laughs> I'm sticking. Okay, pronunciation. P R O N O U N C I A T I O N. That's how I have it. Oh yeah! I don't think so. My first was the U. P R O. Is the U taken out? U N C I A T I O N. That is correct, Andy. Wait, okay. The, the O is, is removed. Out. The, well, the O U. Oh yeah, just the O. Yeah, yeah. So it's P R O N U N. Mm. Correct. So it's, it's it is it is spelled pronunciation, yeah. like the the way That's I so said dumb. it. Like how forty gets rid of like four is F O U R. Right. And then forty is F O R. But you're still alive because we could both fail. True. I blame Americans. <laughs> yeah okay well no like that's fair i'm pretty I, I feel confident that if you go over to, to england they will say pronunciation that's what we said too yeah you but spelled like, it pronunciation yeah i i know but i feel like it's all right i Oof, think you I feel get, like a man who misspelled i want to i want to not I get did. last place here <laughs> give me an easy one okay your uh seventh Dang grade it. level word jason is reprimand come one on. more time reprimand Come on. R E P R. Can I hear that one more time? <laughs> oh my God. R E P R. Reprimand. R E P R I M A N D. Yes, yeah. I yeah, beat that's you. That's why Mike. I said, come on. <sighs> you beat me. You also misspelled my word. Oh, that's true. That is true. <laughs> so you would have been out had you gotten a different draw. Mm, I'm the smartest man here. All right, Andy. Your seventh grade level word is... Lucky. Yeah, oh, if he you, gets this wrong, yeah, I win. That, that is, is correct. Oh, yes. Brochure. Hmm. That's easy. Is Brochure. It? B-R-O. Hold on. I think that was Yes, it. I was about to fail. Um... Now I'm having. Oh no! Okay. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm. I'm sticking with it. B r o c h u r e. Yeah. Yep. I was in the middle of reading it without the h. That Ooh. was my first writing. You were gonna brocure. Bro- yeah, cure? and then I realized that don't look right. Brocure. Yeah. All right. Back to Jason. I mean, I probably, uh, you, I probably would have you sk- got that right too. You're skipping me. I'm still in. Sorry, bud. Uh, Jason. Your eighth grade level word is questionnaire. Okay. Ooh, questionnaire. I know where, the, I know where the fork in the road is on that All one. Right, I'm just gonna go with what I wrote. I don't know if it's right or not. Q U E S T I O N A I R E. No. Yep. There's another N. Another N. Correct. There's, There's two Ns. Yeah. It's questionnaire. Yes. <laughs> I. I told you I knew where the fork That's was. so and, stupid. And you went the wrong way. Why did you tell me to go with my first instinct? You No, he said go with Andy's first. Yeah, oh, my first instinct was right, right on that one. And Andy spelled it right. I should have so, listened. Andy, if you get this correct. Don't do it. Three in a row for you. No, right. don't do it. Your eighth grade level word is? Vacillate. Well, come on now. What? Vacillate. Use that in a sentence, please. Uh, I would only think like th- this thing is vacillating, like, <laughs> <laughs> but that's not. <laughs> <laughs> this thing, <laughs> the word is vacillate. <laughs> that's what you just told me. The, the example sentence I have here is she has vacillated on this issue. What? Uh, I'm going to go with my first gut. Like I said, I would V A S family show C I L. A T E vacillate. For the record, that's what I wrote. Oh, okay. I'm back in. I spelled this one wrong and I'm back in. Is there another vacillate? It is V A C I L L A T E. Oh, we were way off. You guys are so dumb. I had it right. We have to go again. For the record, I had it definitely right. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, and I spelled brochure right too. (laughs) Jason, you're back up. (sighs) Love this segment. We're staying on eighth grade. Jason, your word is? Endeavor. Oh, t- easy. Well, is maybe it? Not, maybe not. Is it? It, it seemed no, easy. No, it's, it's easy. Okay. I, I think that if this one feels like a trap. Oh, wait. Oh, no, this one's a trap. I'm, 
<laughs> Mike's just giving commentary. Yeah. All I, right. So I, it, the E N D E V. I feel Is confident this an about official? that. Yeah. That. that okay. Wait. Yeah. That's the beginning. E N D E V. Okay. But how do we who are this? Endev. Endevar. Endevor. Endeavor. I'm between two here. Endevire. Um. <laughs> all right. Uh. Yeah. See, that's why it, it's you have two written down. Oh, it, this was not a this. There's a little sneaky. Okay. A little sneak. All right. Sneak. I'm gonna go yeah. with my second one, which my second one I assume would be Andy's first. Yeah. Right? Is that the way to think about this now? Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm gonna go E N D E V, E O U R. Mm -mm. Mm. You messed up at your presupposition that it was E E E N D E V. Oh, it's, for real? It's endeavor. E D A V. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then what? What's the end? O R. <laughs> Just O R. Oh, so I was way off. <laughs> but I'm not out. Let's right. get no. Andy right. to lose. Let's get another. All right, another let's, shot at it. Let's get a word we know. Andy, your next eighth grade level word is susceptible. This game is never ending. Susceptible. Oh, crap. Hold on. <laughs> we are the smartest men <laughs> on the planet. <laughs> nope. I'm going to need four tries on this one. <laughs> Susceptible? Oh, S-U-C-C-E-P-T-I-B-L-E. Oh, oh, yeah! Sorry, I lost the drop for a second. Oh, what? no, that was great. That gave us suspense. I was Wait, so excited. Wait, how did I get it wrong? S-U-S-C-E-P-T-I-B-L-E. You went double C. Sure enough. Oh, man. I am. It looks more right that way. I am so smart. Yes. It's going to be the longest show we've ever done. Someone is actually going to be crowned a winner here. Please. please. All, All right. right, Jason, back to you. Here's your word. Existence. Existence. Jason, your word is existence. I th oh, Boy, man. this is the opposite of the last time we played. Oh, oh man, yeah. Which well, not really. Is it E N C E or A N C E? Oh man, that's, yeah. That's the name of the game. Which vowel is it? Uh, e X I S T. Existence. Final answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, ex can I hear it said one more time? Existence. He says E. <laughs> he did not say an A. I'm going E. Oh, oh. E X I S T. E N C E. Yes, you shook your head no, Andy, and I was right. It's E N C. -E. Yeah, it is. It's not oh. existence. Now I can lose again. Yes. All right, go for it. Oh no, that means if you get this right, we're on a ninth grade. Dilemma. What? What pronunciation? Dilemma. Oh, there you go. Uh, D I L E M M A. Yeah. What the heck is this? What? What's this easy word? Ninth grade. Let's go. All right, let's go. Oh my gosh. This is never going to stop. All right, Jason, your ninth grade level word is? Handkerchief. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Handkerchief. <laughs> I don't know how to spell the chiff part. Uh, hank, uh, can I hear it said one more time, please? Handkerchief. Oh, yeah. Oh, double them up. Come on, do it. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is so awful. H-A-N-K-E-R-C-H. I E F. It's a handkerchief. <laughs> it is. No, no. Oh, is there a D in there? It is a handkerchief, but it, there's a D. H A N D K E R C H I E F. It's a handkerchief. handkerchief? Uh, Correct. Oh, Mike. Mike is right from I got behind. Freaking pronunciation. Andy, here is your third chance I'd be at a victory. At this Three point, chances at a win. At this point, I'm rooting for you. Surveillance. Sir. Oh, gosh. Sir. Oh, no. I've got an idea if he gets this wrong. My problem here is the ending. I'm going to go with my gut at, since this works so well. S-U-R-V-E-I-L-L-A-N-C-E. -L -L -E. Oh, wow. man. Three Pete. Good job. Oh, wow. That, is, Thank that goodness. is good stuff right there. That is good stuff. If I, I had lingered on that word any longer, I was going to oh, get it wrong. I, I was very wrong. You were both shaking <laughs> oh, your head at me. Dude, yeah, I, yeah I, like the second letter, where we were way off. <laughs> All right. Let's um, thank you, Al, for this wonderful game that you've invented. Let's move on. 
It's Bitwads. It's summer, and we want to thank today's sponsor, Faraday. Oh, they yeah. are making you look fresh. Like we're, we're finally getting out of the house. Fresher. I'm already fresh, but it's fresher. Yes, mo- even more fresher. It's time to stop looking like a slob, and Faraday's going to help you do that. Are you going out to – are you are you grabbing a drink after work, a barbecue? Sure. Thank you for I asking. Just went, I just went I, – I, no one asked you, Andy. <laughs> I went on my first vacation in forever, and I was rocking my Faraday sweatshorts all – over the place they are they look fantastic like you know sweat shorts sometimes you look like a, a, a slob but yeah. not these no my my Faraday shorts are are absolutely fantastic they make my calves look amazing they look very juicy yeah jason Faraday is a family-run brand making high quality timeless clothing with modern design and functionality and they're so confident in the quality of their stuff they have a lifetime guarantee of quality i had a, i i had an order in from Faraday. i got something it wasn't quite right for me i sent this thing back and as soon as I start my return, they're like, okay, well, here's your, here's your balance to, to get your new item. It was just right there. The quality of the customer service from Faraday was fantastic. Stock up on all your clothes for summer now. Head to FaradayBrand.com. Use code BALLERS at checkout, and you're going to snag 20% off all your summer gear. That's BALLERS at Faraday, F-A-H-E-R-T-Y, Brand.com for 20% off. The Spitballers Draft. All right. This one will be very interesting. We are drafting oh. overrated activities. That's it. Overrated activities. Things people do that they say they like doing or that get much esteem. Yes. yes. And yet they, they're, they're overrated. <sighs> they're not worth your time. And I have built up a very fine list. Like it's My list is incredible. Very, very fine. I'm glad I have the first pick. But at the same time, I have two picks that have to go first. Interesting. But clearly I cannot. Yeah, by rule. By by rule, I have to pick one. And this is a playing the game. You're trying to trade for the third and no, fourth, fourth no, pick? Bec- no, because I, I – know, I know exactly. I know your two. I, I'm, I'm going to write them down. I think I know your two, and okay. you're playing the game thinking – I feel very strongly that if – that one of these – one of them I know for sure – would not make it through Jason twice, which is what's going to have to happen. Yes. So you got to so go with the other pick one. That one. So yeah, we Or you could just let me have it. <laughs> wow, when you say it like that, because uh, they're both they both suck so much. <laughs> this is painful. All right, I uh, go with your first instinct. Uh, pumpkin patches. Oh, P- pumpkin patches are uh, a waste of time. Mm. They're stupid. In Arizona, they're always hot, so you're sweaty. There is uh, there's dust and allergens everywhere. I and what what's the deal with pumpkins? What do people want pumpkins for besides making a pumpkin pie? Well, a jack-o'-lantern. Yeah, yeah, I, I I'm going to draft jack-o'-lanterns on here that, too. I will say that that whole tradition but, is not my favorite. But it, it smells bad. It, you I I don't know. Wait, what what was your message there, Al? What were you saying? I said I never would have thought of that, but it's a great pick. Okay, thank you. Uh, but I don't know. And maybe it's a male thing. I don't know. But I don't know. And none of my friends in actually enjoy a pumpkin patch. If you are there, you have been taken there against your will. I enjoy one pumpkin patch, but it's not just a pumpkin patch. It's. Have you guys ever been to Mortimer's Farm? It's up north in Arizona. He's the uh, <laughs> the other mouse in Mickey Mouse. That's right? correct. Yes, that's correct. No, it's got like a pumpkin patch, but then it hay sounds rides like and it a, sucks. And a, and a, and a, a yeah, maze. You know what, and a, what else sucks? Hay rides. Why do people you're like? Hey, let's let's jump on jump on this wagon full of stuff that's going to put fifty percent of you into an asthma attack that's going to send you to the hospital. I, I guess your Those list is entirely suck. asthma related, um, which which means this next one that should have been the one on one that I get to pick. Probably still applies because it's dumb. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna draft it and then I'm going to draft the name and then I'm going to reveal the name. I'm going to draft walking uphill, which sounds so stupid. But then people call it hiking and they think, oh, okay, let's go hiking. No, I don't need to walk uphill. That's so stupid. But you get to walk downhill. It well, you have to walk downhill, but you have to walk downhill once you're completely exhausted walking up 
the sight of a mountain is so overrated. It is stupid. It is not fun. Andy, I remember you telling a story about your your wife wanted to bring you hiking, and you went hiking, and it was the worst. Well, I had a very specific criticism for that hike, which is I don't want to go on a hike where I go to an endpoint, turn around, and go exactly back the same way. That's what all hikes most, are. Most no, hikes. there's a lot of hikes that are loops, and you go around the mountain, and it's all one fresh path, and that I like. I, I Hiking was one of the things that came to mind. However... I'm just coming off of a family vacation where we went to Sedona. Yeah. And the whole point of the trip was we went on this hike, and it was incredible. Like, it was – the the scenery was Would beautiful. Would you have called it overrated? No. But the, the specific – Was it a hike where you went to one point and then came back the exact same way? Yes, it mm-hmm. was. But you got to walk by all the beautiful stuff. Again. Your hike, scenery, though. Yes. It, the hiking – because we – in Arizona, hiking means you're going up a dead desert mountain. Yes. There's and, no beauty. And the it, there's there's poisonous animals. There are plants that want to murder you. Yes. And then you go to the top, and then you come down. So I, avoid the thorns, our cactuses, hiking is very scorpions, different. and snakes while you walk uphill. So you're drafting hiking with your one on one. Yes. Yeah. I don't blame you. Yeah. Or as you call it, walking uphill. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I. Um, it sounds way worse when you call it walking uphill. Which is what it is. Doing. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was going to go they with rebranded something, something that's kind of. This is tough because I'm trying to play the game. I don't want – I mean, you guys have to draft four more picks after me. So I'm going to start with jogging. Mm-hmm. Running was on my list. That was Yeah, jogging, thought. running, uh, whatever you want to call it. Like, the activity that is just – I'm just running on pavement. Um, I'd rather bike. I'd rather play sports. I'd rather hike. But just straight running on pavement is going to – I think that's overrated. And it's really esteemed, right? You're a jogger. You buy your jogging shorts and your jogging they shoes. Use, they are a proud people, They're the runners. They're proud people. The runners are. But it's bad for your knees. Yeah. Oh, I hear, um, that's so dumb. What? Like My wife says that to me when I talk about, like, man, I should really go running. Oh, it's bad for your knees. I promise you, running is good for my health. Like, yes. whatever it does for my knees, it that's is. the excuse that we're given to be like – So is hiking, Jason. Yeah, hiking is very good for your health. But no, it. I uh, at, I have at points in my life been a runner or a a jogger, and I have on several occasions like gotten halfway through my jog and my knees just felt like they were grinding, and to the point of I had to stop. And now I'm I'm like far away from my house, and I have to limp home. So I I am on team that certain people's knees that do not hold up to. Like a lot of jog, maybe a couple times a week, but usually once you get into it, you can't skip a day because that's that's against it's your routine. The, it's the religion of running. You can't can't stop. Yeah, I know a guy that's ran every single day of his life since the seventies. He's like one of the the record setters because they do this. They have a thing where you log your runs and they know what people have run, which people have run the most consecutive days in like the last fifty years. So that man has like had the flu. He's found and over ran. He's found over ten thousand dollars in loose coins over, Wait a minute. over that time. This is the guy at, at one of the running stores. Yeah. Yeah, I've met this guy. Yeah. <laughs> he's found like ten thousand dollars worth of coins over fifty years. That's but that's if you not run every day money. over that a lot of time. That's not that much money. That's pretty cool. Um overrated activities. Oh, come on. Come on. I'm just deciding who to alienate here. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I've, yeah, I've got some. Because the whole point you know of it what? being over overrated is that it's highly rated by yes. many people. <laughs> it's accurate, Jason. Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna speak from the heart. This is personal. Um, I know people love it. They love all these things, but I'm gonna say cooking. Okay. I think cooking's overrated all because right. they, I mean, we we they have services now where they do everything for you. Except for the cooking, it's called a restaurant. <laughs> well, I, well, you get to the. No, 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 I the, couldn't get it. The out restaurant fast does the cooking. Yes. Yeah, they do. I mean, they'll ship you the exact portions with the instructions. And they do make it easier, and we and still they're delicious. don't I love, love them. I love cooking. Yeah, Jason's all about it. I'm all about that. We still. Well, and I know. Did you know he's a chef? Yeah, I have heard that before. We still <laughs> don't necessarily get those services all the time because they're time investment, and um. While it can be fun and probably rewarding, I'm not good enough. So I'm spending a ton amount of time to make mediocre food that I barely, barely enjoy. And then I have to clean it all. 
Mm, I do hate the clean. The cleaning is really the part of the the whole procedure that gets me. So yeah, some people aren't made to. But I yeah. am thankful for the recipes, chefs. and I'm thankful for the ingredients made for me because that's one step that I can. So I thought Mike was going to take cooking because I know I know you don't like to cook, but I I I thought you were going to draft that first because you know I love to cook. Oh no! And so wait, you know. what? I would why would I draft something that I thought you would never draft? Or the opposite of that. <laughs> the, I thought you were going to uh. draft. I thought you were going. I thought you were between cooking and hiking, and we're going to take hiking uh. and let cooking go because you knew it would get back to you. But yeah. I wouldn't have. Um, all right, I am up, and I'm look. This one is is. I said uh, I, the the one was. I thought you would take pumpkin patches because we have been united in uh, not liking pumpkin patches, but apparently you like one of them. Yeah, I, it was probably me. Yeah, I think okay, it was maybe. Uh, I think um, those farms all stink. Y- well, they, yeah, they do. Farms. No, no, no. That's stink. part of it. Yeah, they yeah. stink, but they're also in the sun, Mike. Uh, oh, but they also have a lot of hay and animals dung. You should jump in this pit of corn. Somebody. <laughs> what happened is, is somebody decided like a farm is hard work, right? Yes. It's like, oh, oh yeah, man, no I've got doubt. To, I've, got to, I've got to work all day long to maintain this farm. And then somebody said, but what if we make it a tourist attraction, <laughs> and they come and do it for us? People will pay. You want to come to visit? chuck some corn? That's a feature. No, shuck, shuck, shuck some shuck. corn. Yeah. yeah, that's a you thing that they put on a sign. You shuck it. Really? They put on a sign. Come shuck your own corn. There should also they're like, uh, ten bucks. You can milk this cow. Seed this field <laughs> for us. I got a way to get a bunch of shuckers in here. <laughs> um, I like the corn maze personally, but um, all right, my uh, chew. My, yeah, my next one that I'm going with is the activity that I think is just. I've talked about this before. It's dumb. It's stupid. It's boring. It's pointless. You pay money to do it. Okay. It's museums. Go into the museum. Oh, you are so wrong. I, oh, you are so wrong. Snooze fest. Oh, I man. Look love at, museums. Look at that old jar. It For was your- old. Let's continue walking, but be quiet. Be quiet. This is a fancy place. Now, you you have some attention deficit things, right? It's a disorder. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, like, I, I've seen you bow out of, like, me telling you something if a five-second YouTube video right, commercial yeah. comes on. So, a museum well, is... A lot of times, YouTube videos are pretty cool. Those commercials are hot. Uh, but you don't, you've never liked museums. They're too boring for you. They're now, you way went to too the, boring. Didn't you go to the American History Museum and not like it? Yeah, the big... Oh, yeah, that was super that boring. That place is amazing. That was yeah. amazingly yeah, because boring. Because museums are so awesome. Us. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Oh, okay. What if what if the uh, the museum curator was like, look over there? Yeah. There's oh. a new bone. That would be so bad and so much better. All right. Well, he's pooping on... We're all pooping on stuff the other people like to do. I love museums. All right. All right, well, uh, excellent. My second 101 made it back. And admittedly, uh, this activity brings me far more anger than it should. This, like, I don't just think this is stupid. Like When I see them, I have an actual visceral, re- visceral reaction that I should not have. And I, I admit this, but this is who I am. And now we have actually reached the the point of life because people, of course, we have to one-up each other. I saw someone else do it. I have to do it bigger, badder, to the point where we are actually like burning down forests because of it because people are morons and we have to do this. Gender reveal parties. Get that crap out of life. Not you don't just like my those? Life. No, they make me upset. <laughs> Why? They, because they're so stupid. What this is call me old fashioned. What happened to do uh, at the at the birth going it's a boy. Why do we have to have this huge elaborate prank set up where I'm trying to hit this balloon <laughs> and then the blue powder goes out and everyone goes, "Oh yeah," and then and then we're done. And it's then, fun. I wonder no, what the moment not. after finding out is like though. That must be a big letdown. It's all a yes. build up. But afterwards, you're like, okay, and I it, guess they have some cake. See, that's the good one. Yeah, it's where you slice the cake open, yeah, and, and then it's either blue or pink on the inside. Because either way, I'm eating cake. I don't care what the baby no, they, is. They, that's they a good are, point. That's they are the worst. People have gotten out of control. Like the the fire that started, the forest fire that oh, started. Oh, they started a fire with one? Yes. One of our big fires over the last year I didn't know was, that. was because idiots have to have their stupid gender reveal wow, I've never well, look, seen if I do so the cake, if, if I do the gender reveal cake, I don't think I'm starting the forest <laughs> fires. Well, you might. The candles. That's true. Wait, um, you have candles on a gender reveal cake? 
I guess you probably wouldn't. <laughs> you are yeah, zero you years could. old. I'm just going to blow on the cake. <laughs> All right, Mike, you uh, you brought the heat with that one. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. All right. Um, two surprises from You're Mike still up, so far. Bro. You're back Oh, up. my goodness. Yeah. He wants that he to count for both. did not realize. Yeah. No, I, I did not realize. Well, that was... Like gender the, reveal balloon parties <laughs> and gender reveal cake parties. <laughs> uh Okay, so that was uh, that just was the one that I was most impassioned about. Uh, all right, <laughs> let's let's tear them down. Let's tear down all oh, the, all the traditions. I don't remember we were we were just talking about this on one of our podcasts. We have we have so many podcasts. I I can't keep track. Leatherbound podcasts. And uh, I, I get it. It's a big fancy party. Oh, I'm not a big fancy party guy. Weddings. I thought that my, it's on my list. Weddings, not are, marriage. I'm a pro marriage. Yeah, don't look. It, to each their own. You want to get married? Good. You don't want to get married? That's fine. But weddings. Don't make me waste my time to go sit down while you can profess your love to each other. You can just tell me, hey, we got married. And I, I hmm. get it. Sometimes you have, sometimes, well, not sometimes. All, there's always cake. But usually, usually at a wedding, it has to be fancy and ornate. And they have to have fine dining meals. And it's it it's food that I would never ever order, so I'm suffering through that. I've had to get dressed up, which is on, on on the list of things that I hate doing. And and I'm using my time. I could be doing something way better. Stop it! I don't want to go to your wedding. We talked about how expensive everything is. Yes, that part I think stinks, for sure. I'm gonna regular Walter Matthau over here. Yeah, <laughs> this is yeah. a grumpy and, old man. Yeah, I was and, gonna say this is not a good show for Mike. That's what I just learned. And not this is all, a bad show for Mike. No, but here's the thing. Can we go twelve rounds, please? Here's the thing. If I invited you guys to a party, let's say I'm having a dinner party mm -hmm. on Friday, just a casual Mike right for dinner. your friends or just yeah, yeah, for my friends. So two people will show up to this party. Uh, for my casual friends, I have a party, and then to come in. You need to bring me a present. Not only it, not only do you need I, to show up, I you need to bring me a gift. I couldn't be further away from you. I love weddings. I love them. They're one of my favorite events. I love celebrating the marriage. I love the dressing up and the giving mm. a good gift. Like I actually like because I love people, Mike. This is foreign. Which is weird. I know. But giving Did them you know that the worst? something to help <laughs> celebrate their lives, I love a good wedding. Um, but you want to know what I don't love? Well, you want to know something that's super overrated? Um, yeah. I, since I feel personally attacked here, I'm going to attack back. I'm going with <laughs> I'm going with something that I know both of you two gentlemen love. Yeah, museums. And no, not something that stupid. Uh, something that actually a lot of people love. Like I would say the majority of people really love this. And I I almost didn't pick this because my son, who listens, loves this. Uh oh. I just don't, and this is this is just something I've never understood. We've talked about it. I don't get it. Collecting things. It's actually on my list. Really? Yes. But you collect shoes. I know. And that I was going to talk about how I do it, but it's still dumb. It's so... I recognize I, that it's dumb. I don't get it. I don't get the value of things that are supposed to be worth something because someone says so, like, a, you know, my, my son has Pokemon cards. It's like... Rarity. is a piece of paper, man. It's a piece yeah, of paper. But everything in life can be boiled down to it's just this. Yeah. I just don't get it. I think it's overrated. But, and, and and to say, I mean, people spend millions of dollars on this yes, stuff. Yes, they do. And it's like, okay, to each their own. Overrated. All right. Uh, this won't be a surprise to anybody if you look at me. But I think that the- Working out. <laughs> I'd set that up for already, as many things as you want to give me. You already took running. I'm going to- Showering. Sunbathing. Sun? Oh. Oh, man. You don't that, like... At, at this point in time, people sit out... Yeah. ...and give themselves cancer <laughs> to get a different shade of their skin color. Well, you put on some sunblock. Then you don't get the tan. You do. You really don't. You get sun tan lotion instead of some block lotion. No, no, no. I've, I've read about this before because the idea that you could get a tan and not get cancer would be great, but that doesn't exist. Well, the sun tan lotion now, it gives you the cancer. Well, that's possible, possible too. But in Air, maybe it's because in Arizona, it's not actually like, you know, relaxing to do this. It's oh, dangerous. Yeah, it, it's pain, it, it's painful. Like if I was on a beach, I guess I would get it a little bit more if the the but wind was no, blowing by. Yeah, I don't. But I've seen these leather 
Oh yeah. <laughs> Leather body. Leather bound bodies. <laughs> yeah, they get, they committed their whole lives to like. Not only will I get cancer, but I'm going to change my entire skin color. I'm going to look real stupid while I do it, <laughs> but I will look reptilian. Yeah, reptilian. So I think that that's dumb. Yeah, well, I, Al, you agree with me on that one? Completely. In Arizona, it's literally like saying, "Hey, do you want to play? It's be human bacon." Like that's what that's what you're just literally sure. turning into bacon as you can feel your skin crisp in the sun. Even in Cali, though, like I'll go to the beach and it's fun to play in the water and stuff. But the people that just want to lay under the sun for hours and hours, that's dumb. I, yeah. What I like on when I go to the beach, I, I, I like to be in the ocean, but I also can just lay there. And, but I don't I'm not actively. The goal is not for you to sunbathe. Yeah. Well, lay I mean, there with an umbrella over you. In the yeah. Shade. Yes. Yeah. yeah with a I'll book or something. I wouldn't mind getting a tan, but I can also I can lay on a beach and do nothing and just have the sound of the ocean and the feel of that bring me life. But I'm not sunbathing, I guess. Yeah. Um, I have a couple tough decisions here to finish. Oh, you're mine down out. your last pick. My last pick here. I'm going to go with uh, 3D movies. <laughs> I completely understand that. 100%. And I was not yeah. on my list. That's great. And if this show was overpriced, it would be the same thing. But they they cost more money, and I don't they don't really add. There's been one movie in my life I've Avatar. watched. Avatar. Avatar. And that that's was great. That's the problem is And it was kind of first time of seeing something cool like the, that. The problem and I don't disagree with your saying that they're overrated. But the problem is it just became a cash grab for Hollywood. They weren't make they they were not filming in 3D. They were not bringing a new medium. They were taking movies they already made and then running them through a process so it kind of looks like it's 3D so they can charge $5 more for every single it, ticket. Yeah, it just doesn't But the true 3D yeah. movies I I think are cool. Well, overrated. Sorry. Yeah, no, I I'm said I'm not disagreeing with you cuz they ruined I, it. If I ever have the choice on a movie, oh, I, I always will never. choose the regular movie. It's all like the 3D movie is all dark. Yeah, it's hard to see. All right, it's coming at me, but it's very difficult. No, I, to I love I love that pick because I I hadn't thought about it, and I think that's one of the rare things that is almost universally known to be overrated. Like literally, yeah. Um, nobody's like, what are more you talking about? Those are the best. More. I want to spend more. They've to kind of died out, haven't they? Yeah, they have because people are like, these are overrated, <laughs> um, and overpriced. Okay, so. Uh, I'm going to go with something that I don't know that it is highly rated, but it is highly uh, utilized. It is done all the time. And for me, get it out of here. For Mike, get it out of here. For oh, Owl, I'm on board. get it out of here. I don't know about Andy yet, but wiping your butt. <laughs> <laughs> wiping with toilet paper gonna, like it's like we're Neanderthals. You're going to need to elaborate because <laughs> it's, it's, we are. Right now it just sounds like you leave it. <laughs> bidets. Bidet, the bidet life is the only one for me. Now you can't go backwards. Wash your butt. It's yeah. so much cleaner. Yes. It's so much nicer. It's better in every which way. And if I have to go to a bathroom, like if there's let's just say an emergency and I'm at a restaurant and I've got to use a public place. I know the nightmare I'm in for because yeah. I've gotten, I've got dingleberries. I've gotten used to a pampered life down there. You don't even know how to wipe anymore. No, I just pat just dry, <laughs> pat dry from my cleanness. All right, Mike, final pick for you <laughs> and a pat dry when there's no bidet. Not good. It <laughs> That's just a, that's called a mat dry. Yeah, it you're get, just mashing it. Mash dry. It does All right, not Mike, get a job. Take Man. a deep breath. Be careful. I don't know if you can get impassioned about something else we care about. Well, I there, I I definitely can. Friendship. <laughs> there totally was, overrated. I had one on here, <laughs> specifically like I once Jason started going on the defensive, I had to play defense against your defense. Mm -hmm. So I, I you were going to attack Jason. I well I had one ready. <laughs> we're, we're just fencing, <laughs> which also overrated. I've I've never done. Never, never. Actually, fenced. It seems like it'd be a ton of fun. Yeah, it seems like it would be very fun. All right. Um. Well, then let's just attack the young people. <laughs> yeah. Take this. Clubbing. Okay. Oh, totally. Okay. What, what? How did? How did? Like, and I, I get that. Uh, MTV grew, created a generation of us that we aspired that this was it. This once you become of age. This is how you go have fun. 
You go into a place that is so crowded you can barely move. You it's it's so loud you can't hear yourself talk. You can barely breathe. You are suffocating. Now this is dancing, right? Yes. Not yes. Not beating clubbing. someone not, not, with a, yeah, not with a kill, bat. I'm not, not hitting, a seal. I'm not hitting baby seals. Okay. <laughs> Which is slightly overrated. I, I not not totally. But underrated. Yeah. No. <laughs> Take that baby seals. Uh but the act of going like you you can't communicate to people of who you want to dance with, so you are just imposing yourself, which is like weird and gross. Uh, and like, and the 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 communication of are do you want to dance together? It is the person either stays there or they move away, and you. But it's the violation has already happened. Like it, it's. I'm glad I never did it. I never. I can say to this day that was never. And there was never an attraction to that for me. I well, I, I was convinced that this was like. M MTV convinced me that this was the thing that I needed to do, and I went one. I talked talk about. I went the one time, and it was just. It was clear that this is this is not for Mike. This, there's way too many people here. Is this your Everyone, story about your? Yeah, about how I was so poorly dressed. Now maybe yeah. if I was cooler, it would have worked out. And just a self conscious weird environment. I, I could have been like a, a you know chick magnet or whatever mm. at the club, mm. but it was. I I do not understand, and it's still in movies like. The go oh, to the, yeah. the the club show. It's in slow motion, and everyone there is just smiling and like no. They're having the time of their you're, lives. You're, you're, I mean, they're all deaf, completely deaf. You're like you're just a liar. Ninety percent of those people are are not having a good time. They are just doing it because they they think that this is what they're supposed to do to have a good I time. I think the pandemic didn't really help that scene in my mind either. Clubbing. <laughs> yeah, it's like everybody yeah, in there gets just, what everybody else has. All right, this so was I'm, just the disease. I did have some backup ones I'll share. NASCAR was one of them. Oh, that's a good one. Um, yeah, you're not going to get much argument. Uh, so that was one. Buffets, I think, are oh, overrated. You're an idiot. And then I, I also was going to throw retirement out there. I think retirement's oh, probably oh, overrated. Okay, I, I sit around waiting to die. Get, get, that, do something. When I have you're old. I have golf on my list. Oh, I think that's a little overrated. That's dumb. Uh, golf. I've got yes, because you're underskilled. That yeah. no, oh, if I was great at golf, golf would be the best thing ever. It's overrated because I suck at it. Fishing, um, okay, picnics, reading, oh. you know, no, no exercise for you though. Oh, it was yeah. Well, no, I, exercising your brain is off limits for Jason. That's right. I don't uh, like to work up a mental sweat. So uh, on my list, I did have collecting, uh, fancy dining, but I kind of lumped that in with the wedding. Musicals, for the most part, are wow. very very overrated. That hurts. Yeah, well, there are some that are great, but for the most part, very overrated. And then if Jason came at me again <laughs> for my final pick, I was going to go with cruises. Oh, you're so, – man, we have – You guys are not Very friends. different <laughs> desires of life. <laughs> what did we learn today? That me and Jason are mortal enemies. <laughs> I learned that I am allowed to open food at parties. Yes. Thank yeah. you, Mike. Yeah, you're welcome. I learned that um, – Unlike Owie Owie Al Borland, uh, Mike has a very high pain tolerance. He he endured a broken toe. Yes. Uh, it, when I was younger, I definitely had a higher pain tolerance. And I learned that Jason and I, well, Jason likes stupid things. Let's put it that way. Yes, I do. Guilty as charged. Well, you guys should like each other after Highway to Spell. Mm. Well, I was a big loser. Yeah, You were a loser, too. Yeah. Did I you really you. win? I don't know. Last man standing. Goodbye. Thanks for listening to the Spitballers podcast. To see what other nonsense the guys are up to, check out spitballerspod.com.